Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. Up and down my nipples. What did he say? Hey! Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this guy even talking about? Can nipples even do that? How you doing, my sweet? We got a sweet ass video for you. It's me, Vulto, your favorite African boy, with a brand new video. I actually managed to find a sweet spot on the top of a mountain because, damn, the amount of cringe we're gonna feel from this video, even my cousin's on his way to this man's house to bring him to Africa. Some of these internet people need to be taught a lesson. If you're new to this channel, I want you to know that there's a little agreement that I want to make with you before we start this video. So, I don't want you to subscribe right now, but you can if you want. But if you get to the middle of this video, I just want you to subscribe to this channel so the mighty gods of Africa can bless your family with an African woman. You did it? Okay, now give me a kiss. Oh, that's gay, bro. That's Come on, it's tradition that's gay, here. Bro. So the other day I was on my free time of climbing trees and I decided to watch HD videos on YouTube with my 69 kilobit per second internet. <laughs> Best quality. And I stumbled across this video on my feed, totally obsessed Pac-Man. And when I watched this video, the urge to make a video on my own was over 1000% and trust me, you'll know why. I seriously just don't know how this man wasn't bullied in high school. So enough chit chat, let's just dive into this video. Meet Tim Christ, a man obsessed with Pac-Man. Hmm? After all this time, he's still there, he's still yellow, he's still perfectly round, he's still eating things. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Behold, I am Pac-Man! Dude, that costume, if you can even call that a costume, is something that I would give to my six-year-old nephew. And I'm sure he wouldn't even wear that thing. That mask looks more like something a sex dungeon minion would wear. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I didn't get much sleep these days. And what's up with those eyes though? <laughs> he looks like he was smoking on that good good shit, if you know what I mean. For the past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. Look what you've done. Guys, I'm legit sorry for making you waste 10 seconds of your life by listening to this man explaining what's Pac-Man. I know you could have saved that time to pay taxes or save world hunger, but no. You watch this grown ass man making Pac-Man noises. Don't worry, my cousin's still trying to turn on his car. We are on our way to his house soon. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Uh, he has this psychic connection with Pac-Man. Bruh, he has a wife? I'm clearly doing something wrong with my life. So you're telling me this man is getting mad while praising the f*** out of that game? Well, Genshin Impact players, there's still hope for you guys. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Man! I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I- I'm having second-hand embarrassment just by watching this guy doing this type of stuff on camera. Dude, there's kids in that place. Come on, don't make this weird. Just look at that kid. <laughs> he was like, God damn, he's here. I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I get the impression that he may be nearby. And there he'll be, you know, his golden yellow light just- <laughs> Hey, 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 let's keep it PG in this channel. Don't make love to that game. Just look at them. They're as confused as we are right now. If I was the owner of this arcade, the moment I'd see him walking in, I'd run straight to the game and cut the cables. I don't want to see no grown man making love to my... I just broke the game. The drool will be there and he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom, he'll be reaching for tokens. <laughs> quarter, 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 quarter. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the great yellow one? Certainly, certainly. Now get the fuck out of here! Now I don't understand why is this man taking the money. You should just kick him out of the place. He's really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. You know? Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. What do you mean by that? No, don't. Okay. <laughs> I should destroy you with my Pac-Man now. Okay. <laughs> Tim has spent $10,000 in quarters alone, playing every day on his lunch break. I'm tired of suffering. 
I'm tired of stuff. Now I know why they never banned him. Bunch of smart bald entrepreneurs. Hey, how you doing? Vulto here. Remember that agreement we had in the beginning of the video? Well, I remember. And since I'm a pal, I came here to remind you to like and subscribe to this channel. Because I want you, yes you, to be part of my YouTube family. And can you help me with my first goal? I'd like to get this channel to 20 subscribers. I know you can do it. Come on. And I'm actually curious. What's your greatest obsession? Comment below to let me know. <laughs> In spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. Bro, just look in the back of that restaurant. You can see people are eating and they're seeing a grown ass man crying because of a game. Bro, come on, have some dignity. And who even cries like that because of a game? You're in public. Come on, Tim. When the holy semicircle of life meets his demise, in the melting way he does, it always brings me a feeling that maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. Maybe you could have stayed home and be with your wife. You, you know what? I was thinking, hey, let's do some math over here. <laughs> Meth. This video was released in 2014. Even if it was shot in 2010, he could have bought a PSP because that console was released in 2004. How old do you feel now? Also, he could have bought the Pac-Man games he wanted and still have 9.5k in his pocket. But he decided to spend 10k in quarters for a game that he started playing when he was 7 and he still sucks at it. Don't worry guys, I managed to find a lift from my uncle. I just hope I can make it there. J just wish me luck. Pac-Man was made for 20 different game systems and Tim has every one, enabling him to play in every room in his home. It's very frustrating trying to play Pac-Man with Tim. You have to avoid them. The trick is to not run into them when they try to eat. You see, game over. Now you don't get to play anymore and it's all me. You get to watch me play. It's just a total exercise in futility for me because I'll be waiting 15 minutes for my turn. Bruh, this man is roasting his wife in every single way. Just look at that monstrosity in her hands. That's something that I would give to my younger cousins and pretend that it's connected to the game. Come on, Tim. She's your wife. In 2001, Tim put his passion for Pac-Man to music in a song called Pac-Man is naked and so should you. I got a copyright claim so let's see him dancing to no music. Ha 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 ha. So, did you subscribe yet? The best way to Pac-Man is to use the game! You move the joystick and you eat the dot! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Man, this guy sound like those kids in family gatherings that always wanna play games on your phone. Like, why can't you act like a normal human being, Tim? Don't worry, guys, I managed to find his address. My uncle is going in. <laughs> Sometimes, you just gotta bring the message to the people. Occasionally I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life. And I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! This guy is just trying to enjoy his weekend, buying food for his family. And there's a guy with a megaphone trying to give him a heart attack. What did he even do to you, Tim? And he said that he will look for somebody who didn't invite the true glory of Pac-Man into his life. Is this a religion now? I'm so confused right now. Pac-Man! Lest the public forget about Pac-Man, Tim goes out every week to remind them. Pac-Man! He won't rest until the world shares his enthusiasm for Pac-Man. I simply profess the glory of the Golden One who is round and eats things. It is written that you shall play Pac-Man, and only then shall you know the glory of Pac-Man! It can be extremely embarrassing. When we're driving down the road, people are standing there like, Pac-Man? All before Pac-Man, feel his glory! Feel the glory of Pac-Man! See Pac-Man! No! See Pac -Man! Well, I gotta say, this man has a high self-esteem of a rock to do this whenever he has free time. I'd be home, cooking with my wife, watching a movie or playing games, but, but he prefers going out and scream Pac-Man! at random people. I think these people are gonna look back on their lives, they're gonna be lying on their deathbed thinking, my god, I have squandered my life. Think of all the times I played things that weren't Pac-Man. Say Pac-Man! Say Pac-Man! And now it's too late. It's adorable. <laughs> In a very disturbing way, it's adorable. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Did you find something new in this video? Well, I did. I managed to find his address and he's on his way to Africa right now. I just hope I can get to home safely. My uncle doesn't like to respect the speed limit sometimes. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like because it really motivates me to continue posting more videos. And I'm pretty sure I don't have to remind you to subscribe to this channel, right? And do you think this man is faking it? Or do you think he's a crazy Pac-Man fanboy? Comment below to let me know.